Hello, YouTubers around the world. So, a small update on my tank. Um, <clears throat> been working, been busy. Uh, work has taken over at the moment. Uh, didn't spend so much time on my tank, but now I've got a little bit of time. So, uh, let's give you an update. Um, so, since the last update of my tank, um, corals have grown, encrusted, uh, all over, a few additions. Uh, let me say, I have added a few chromuses, I think around sort of 20. Uh, 20 in total of uh, blue-green chromuses. Um, everything seems to be doing fine at the moment. Um, a few more extra uh, torch corals uh, I've added. Um, I think they're the Hellfire. Um, Obviously, it's on camera, so it does no justice at the moment, but um, I'll see if I can get a close view uh, of the actual pieces of uh, torch corals. Um, uh, it seems to be doing fine overall. Um, corals are thriving. Uh, like I said earlier on, they are encrusting um, along the floor, above the rocks. Um, sometimes, I think sometimes I think it's over encrusting, to be quite honest, uh, as you can see down there. And uh, over here, See the presentation there, just down there. Uh, that's the problem I'm having, so I'm, I'm having to put my frags onto the plugs at the moment so they don't encrust onto the rocks, to be quite honest. But um, it seems to be doing all fine, so that's what I'm gonna do from now on uh, and then take it further from there. I've got a few corals here. Um, which are absolutely thriving. Uh, this is going to do no justice, this particular camera. Uh, but the glow on them are absolutely amazing. Uh, I'll give you a close shot of them uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, everything seems to be thriving. Uh, corals are seems to be growing. Uh, I've had to cut a few corals off because they were uh, just about to touch each other. So I've fragged a few corals here, just on the floor. Uh, these are quite chunky. Uh, Green Toxic Montes, uh, very nice ones, uh, really chunky, can't get a focus on them, okay. Uh, pink hair sticks, it just grows like mad, the amount of times I have to chop that, it's unbelievable. Uh, but it seems to be doing okay, uh, I have got no problems with the tank at the moment, uh, but these uh, blue-green chromuses have really made the tank look more of a reef. Uh, and there's more movement with these uh, blue-green chromuses because they school a lot, especially when they put a hand along the tank, them thinking that's gonna be, they're gonna be fed, as you can see here. Let me see if I can get some, there we go. See if I can get in school. I think for some reason, ah, oh, there we are. It just looks beautiful. It just makes the tank more energetic and plenty of movement. Uh, yeah, I still got the same fish. I got this the whole tank. I got the um, powder blue uh, fox face. Bristle tooth. This fish here is just an amazing. It just works so hard all day long. It will just eat algae uh, on the rocks, on the floor, on the side of the glass, wherever you go. This is a true working fish. I've got to give it to him. Um, he's just um, trying to attack his shadow at the moment, as you can see. But I've just kept it basic. Um, Hydras. Lights, uh, two MP40s, return, giving some of the flow. And I have the um, Deltec E-Flow 16, uh, which uh, a friend of mine uh, who is a reefer, he no longer wanted it. He bought it brand spanking new, uh, decided he didn't want to do it. Uh, so I say he didn't want to have it because uh, obviously his son was going to be in his garage. Uh, but he's changed his mind, he's going to have his sump in his, uh, at the bottom of the tank. So I snapped that off him. Uh, I know it's a bit overrated for this uh, tank, but it's only pumping out 
40 watts. Uh, for my previous pump, I was pumping at 80 watts with the same flow, so it's all about saving money in this hobby and keep it, keeping it simple. Uh, this is just here temporary because I don't know where to put it. Uh, I'm just fragging um, nearly every two, two, three weeks uh, on this piece here. Just uh, to the front seat. But yeah, it's awesome, seems fine. But then I've got a, a rainbow chalice here, uh, which I'm growing out. That seems to be doing fine as well. Uh, plenty of plate funnels, as usual. Uh, I'm just running out of space. Uh, I do need, uh, sorry, so, I forgot to mention here. So I've got this, these coals, these, these pieces of coals here uh, on a tube. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's, it's on a tube. Uh, a pipe work, uh, this goes along the floor. Um, it's because I'm running out of branch. I'm running out of branches uh, to put the um, frag pieces on. Uh, so that's just a bit of temporary. Um, so I do need to um, work on my aquascape a little bit more uh, to, to add on some more branching uh, pieces of uh, rock so that I can uh, fix the um, frags on there. But at the moment, I have, like I said, I've been very busy and then I've got plenty of time. So there we go, uh, that's the update so far. Uh, I will be doing an update uh, on my son. Uh, you will be amazed uh, what he's running with his tank. Um, and um, you'll be gobsmacked basically, um, absolutely fiberglassed. Nothing hardly running this tank. Uh, but I will do a, a future video on the sump. It is messy, uh, put my hands up with that. It is messy uh, and it's gonna look very untidy, but it is doing the job. Uh, with basic equipment so if you want to see the next episode of my sump uh, subscribe share and like and also write me a comment uh, how i can improve um that'll be helpful um so we can share our experiences uh, once again uh, but yeah so far so good so i'll just give you a quick close-up of some corals uh, which i'm quite happy with uh, which is this particular piece here very nice there you go uh, I'm not in the top view, but the top view looks absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, these pieces here. This is just uh, nice and chunky. Uh, it just seems getting thicker and thicker, to be quite honest. There you go. There you go. The fish are very hungry. Most of the time, I feed my fish around sort of three stroke, four times a day, uh, especially when my nutrients um, are getting reduced. Uh, that's when I seem to feed heavy. Uh, this Soho tank, um, word of warning, if you do decide to get one, keep it fed heavily. Um, if it's not fed heavily, it will get very, very aggressive. So it will attack other fishes uh, like it does nearly every day with my um, fox face. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little cut on there, because obviously the Soho Tan's got, uh, it's a surgeon fish, surgeon fish, so they do have their days, uh, but the only two fish that are gonna fight here are the Soho Tang and the fox face. They are the two ones that are, be, uh, are aggressive to each other at the moment, uh, but I've noticed that if I feed heavy and I keep the Soho Tang yeah, there we go. If I keep, if, if, if I feed heavy and keep the soul hole tang fed and happy, it just gets on with his business and starts grazing amongst the rocks. Uh, likewise with um, this bristle tooth, he is the hardest worker. I thoroughly recommend uh, to get one of these uh, tangs here because they just work all day long. That's all they do is graze, graze, graze. They're not bothered by any other fish. But at the moment, I can tell you one thing, that he is the king of the tank. Uh, he's taken over the powder blue. Uh, the powder blue has accepted his, um, uh, his place. So um, they have their own spots uh, during the evening time. Uh, he, the Bristol troop will stay on this side and the powder blue will stay just amongst underneath the rocks uh, on this side. Um, but yeah, everything seems to be uh, looking fine. Um, uh, no change is made, but I do need to make uh, extra branching uh, rocks uh, up, glued onto the existing rocks uh, to get more corals on there. Yes, I'm missing a lot of corals, definitely. But yeah, so the additions are uh, 
I think it's about 19 to 20 blue green chromises, uh, which has made it's, it's just absolutely fantastic watching a tank uh, after work. Um, so that's it. Uh, like I said to you, uh, please um, subscribe, share, like, write me a comment. Okay, uh, let me know how I can improve, or let me know if, if you know, give me some uh, ideas, um, like I'm doing with myself, giving you guys ideas, uh, which will be helpful for all of us in this reefing community. So, like I said, one more time, please subscribe, share, like, enjoy.